Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, snipping out the Madden cheese as always. Got another top 5 video for you today. I haven't put out a top 5 run plays video yet, uh, at least not since the beginning of the year. I think I might have put one out earlier in the year, but this is going to be uh, the, the updated version, all of it shown inside of gameplay. These are the top five run plays that I'm using right now. So, like I said, top five. If you want to see more top five videos, let me know in the comment section with the like button. And I'll do that next. I'll try to put some links in the description for some of the top five videos that I put out so far, like top five pass plays, top five defenses, blitzes, stuff like that. Try to have links in the description if you want to check those out if you didn't see those videos. Other than that, let's get right into it. Uh, the first play is a play that I just put out a full scheme out of on Sunday. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. It was the jet touch pass out of the gun spread Y flex. Now, this play here, there's a lot of jet touch passes and jet sweep plays in the game, but not a lot of them have the opportunity for a fullback, essentially a lead blocker, uh, which in this particular gameplay is my you know, my running back, but you can always put a fullback there. Just make sure you put your fastest, uh, most dynamic receiver at the slot position running the ball, a fullback or a a good blocking back at the running back spot and you're going to see how it basically you know shuts the play down at the point of attack really gets you uh, sprung for a lot of big plays this particular play is in the Raiders playbook um, I don't know how many other playbooks is in I think there's something very similar in the Baltimore Ravens playbook that you can use as well in the Baltimore Ravens book they have like a quarterback uh, draw where the receiver and the running back are both blocking uh, but you have to have a dynamic uh, a quarterback to do that so I didn't put that in this video but ultimately the, this one right here is one of my favorite it works best when your opponent pinches like my opponent's doing here. He's pinching the lines, pinching the linebackers. Any defense where they're really uh, sucked in like that is going to be very explosive to the outside. You can see how consistent it is. You can see I'm also using it in a lot of really critical situations, like right here to end the game, uh, because I have a lot of faith in it. So third and eight, I need a big run play. I've been running this quite a bit against this guy, but it doesn't change the fact that it's still an explosive play. There's nothing you can do about it. It's one of the better plays in the game. Probably could have scored, but like I said, I was trying to seal the deal. So moving on to the fourth play, these are not necessarily an order this one here is definitely one of my favorite the i form close halfback stretch there's so many different ways you can run this play you can motion over i like to do fake motions a lot of times to fake my opponent out even fake myself out here <laughs> but you can see uh you can do that you can motion across the tight end to the two i make it a, a, to the to the left you can motion across the receiver i like to motion snap them sometimes give myself uh, a little bit of a blocking advantage you can see how explosive it is. I mean, that probably should have been a touchdown but he's sprinting caught up to me but you can see it's really explosive really consistent to boot it's one of the most consistent and plays and you could also you know like i said you can you run it stock very successful that's one of the reasons this play is so good is because you can run it so many different ways it's so difficult to know what you're doing and where it's going so here we go once again we're going ahead with that motion block to the short side like i said just seals that edge perfectly and uh, we just get big plays consistent plays all game this is definitely one of the most consistent plays uh when it comes to uh stretch runs in the entire game definitely a bread and butter of my offense i typically use it as saints right here it's in the raiders here's another uh time that i'm using it like i said a little misdirection and we're scoring a big play another big touchdown run um, you can also motion out the fullback that's something that i do quite a bit a lot of times i'll motion the fullback out in the direction i'm going just to secure that fullback gets to the edge of the way it's supposed to you can see right here i probably should have scored but once again trying to kill the clock like i said definitely one of my bread and butter plays so then next up we got another play from the raiders single back wing tight you and the play once again is a halfback stretch not a ton of changes i mean a lot of these are going to be very similar as far as concept uh, but this play here you don't really have to make any adjustments you have three tight ends spread out to the point where all you really have to do is flip the play like this first play here i flipped the play short made a successful run out of it but if you want to kick it up a notch you can motion over one of the tight ends. Now you have, you know, you can just see he just kind of comes in like a slot position, and that's going to just really help as far as uh, creating lanes. This entire uh, series of runs that you can make from this um, are going to be very successful. The most successful, though, is when you motion over this tight end. Like I said, you can see right here, we're going to blow open holes. As you can see, I could run a truck through this. He gets through the block that time, but then I go ahead and I run it back. I run it again because you can see how successful that was, and sure enough, we're going to have that exact same huge hole. Like I said, I could just I can run a truck through that. If you're not great at running the ball, having lanes like that is going to make anybody look good. And then last but not least, like I said, I mean, this is just, it's perfect because you don't have to show your hand. You can you can just flip the play, and you're typically going to have success running it to the, uh, the receiver side. So moving on to the very next run. The very next run is something that I found in the Niners playbook. I think it's also in the Ravens. It's another halfback stretch, but it's as the, out of the pistol wide trips, which is a pretty rare formation, but it's very consistent. Uh, if you're more of a pass-first player like I am, having a, a three-wide receiver set with a stretch play like this right here, once 
switching it, just flipping it to the weak side. Very successful run. Uh, you can run it as is. You don't have to flip it at all. You can see right here, goal line, fourth and one. He's stacking the box, and I'm still going to go with this run because I still have uh, enough success, enough confidence in its success that I'm going to knock it out the park. And then the very next play, like I said, I mean, this is just flipping it. Typically works better than running to the three-wide side, but it is what it is. And then the last play, once again, is another halfback stretch, this time out of the Saints uh, single back wing stack. Another very good play. Once again, very similar concept as far as motioning across the tight end to create three wide receivers slash three tight ends to one side uh, will give you a huge advantage to that side. And then you could also motion across the receiver to the two tight end side and uh, give you an edge advantage as well. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more plays uh, or more videos like this, uh, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button and I'll do that that next other than that thanks for watching man Moish it out need more help or just want to share your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below